Right, let's try this again. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. <coughs> Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava, just sign it yourself, will you? <laughs> I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crossword puzzle he's got in there today. Probably, yeah. Uh, I'll leave him to it. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. <laughs> there we go. That's more like it. <laughs> hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> I guess I'm in the back somewhere very cramped. <laughs> I could have walked faster than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Right. Domino. still give me the creeps. Now this I'd forgotten about. Yeah, the land of the living, at least to someone who lives in the land of the dead, is so obscure, so very, very strange. Uh, let's just look at him. Hi. Look at these poor saps. Can we talk with them? It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. <laughs> what about you? Oh man. It's almost like cubism or something. It's just so very surreal, so very strange. Scaring the living is technically against the rules, but we all do it. <laughs> I bet you do. What have we got here, then? I have to say, this food looks pretty good. And you say that after someone's just been poisoned, right? Okay, um... In this world, all I can do is look, smell, and reap. Fair enough. Well, speaking of which, we need to deal with the body bag on the floor, don't we? Bound only by the paper-thin wrapper of mortality, a soul here lies, struggling to be free. And so it shall, thanks to a bowl of bad gazpacho and a man named Calavera. <laughs> Alright, very poetic. Let's do it. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. Oh. Oh, silly me. Of course. Of course. I, I'm unfamiliar with the ways of the Grim Reaper. There you go. That's more like it. Uh, let's try it again. Right, so that's use item, I take it. Nice. Nice bathroom. <laughs> but we offer several travel package upgrades if you'd care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster, if you wanted. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, slam the front into the weeds, tub the rear end, do blowers, pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. <laughs> Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny! You couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. <laughs> I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. 
How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street! No job! No way to work off your time! Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill! Who you calling a scumbag? Why, well, I ought to... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick? It's time to take one. Right. Okay, time to take one. I like that. I like that. Maybe that's what we need to do now. Hmm. Okay. You know, I'm just thinking, this is this feels like a game that doesn't, in a way, want to be a game. It's like, it could quite easily be a movie. I think, I think it was Tim Schafer that was behind this. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. And I'm just realizing, there was a lot of jokes that sort of went over my head back when I was playing this as a kid. I'm sort of glad that I'm revisiting this now. Um, right, well, let's, let's speak with Ava again, I suppose, sort of get an update on what's going on. You missed a great poisoning. Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Híjole, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. <laughs> well, at least you don't work for one. Hmm, well, uh, he's not really in his office. Wait, well, could be now. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. <laughs> Grow up, darling. <laughs> Uh, can't find my driver. Well, he's downstairs making modifications to the car, I think. Uh, any messages for me? Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. It did. <laughs> ah, might not be the wisest move, but... In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Hmm, fair enough. <laughs> we could keep going with this. Oh, go on then. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? <laughs> fair enough. Uh, okay, I gotta go hit the brakes. Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Gotta get myself a premium client. I suppose I should probably speak with the boss. If he's in his office, that is. Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Ah, fair enough. Right, um... Ah, right. Well, Domino's back. So, at least now I can enter his office. There he is. Can we have a chat? Well, let's just look at him. It's Domino Hurley. The sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat to sell, Callie, and you know it. <laughs> it's like this guy has no internal monologue. Whatever he thinks, he just says. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? Well, uh, yeah, how'd you make out of the poisoning? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. <laughs> well, sounds like a premium sale to me. Say, how'd you score? Well, I could lie. I could really lie. Or I could tell the truth. I got a mean midget. <laughs> yeah, go on then. I got a mean midget I had to send parcel post. Ah, cheer up, buddy. Another day, another death. Am I right? I guess it's that way in this world, yeah. Um. <laughs> I want to punch you in the mouth. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. <laughs> oh. Do it. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Oh, okay. Well, you know, after I just said that, probably not going to say yes to this, but... Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle. I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. <laughs> yeah, why do you get them? Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. I'm feeling a lot of tension between these two. 
What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit, and how long are you going to have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you. But I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Hmm, all right. Uh, I guess I want to tell you something. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. Hmm. This used to be my office, I guess, back when I was on top in the uh, in the glory days. The old days. I think you're after something. Hmm. Let's team up. <laughs> I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. Damn. <laughs> You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. Ah, yeah, well, uh, <laughs> I want my office and the books back. I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's a way of looking at it, getting promoted out of the land of the dead and uh, into the land of eternal rest, I think that's what he called it. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> All right, I think he's got me there, but yeah, I kind of do. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. The Christmas party? What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm going to blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Okay. Right, well, we still have access to his office. He seems pretty preoccupied with uh, his, uh, his boxing, so let's keep going. Uh, all right. So I need, I need to take a client, right? He seems to have all the good ones, so I don't know. If I can distract him, maybe I could nab something? Uh, has he got anything? Any message in the tubes? What's he looking at down there? Hang on. The bottle? That's some premium-looking scotch. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. Damn. All right. Well, sure. Why not? <laughs> I'm surprised there's not a mess on the floor, frankly. Uh, right. There's something up here as well. Look at all the diplomas. You have to have the proper attitude to get diplomas like those, Manny. Really? I thought you just had to have the proper postage. <laughs> nice uh, ceiling artwork up there. Pretty cool, actually. What do we got here? Hang on. Is it the drawer I'm looking at? Desk drawers? Right. I don't have desk drawers. No, I don't. I suppose that's where my comic books are. Can we use this? Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Ah, shit. Uh, <laughs> probably not going to let me use your computer, are you? Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Okay, yeah, I think this is being maybe a little bit too obvious. No messages in Dom's fancy red too. Hmm. Hmm, okay. I think it is actually to do with the messages. How do I do that? How do I do that? Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's keep going this way because... I think Dom would call the company shrink if I left through the window. I was just thinking about maybe unlocking it, actually, so that when he leaves, I can sneak in. And then maybe I could have a look at his computer or maybe have a look through his messages and stuff like that. Maybe that's what I need to do. Maybe I need to get Domino out of here. Huh. Okay, we might actually be at the limit of what we can do in this room for the time being. So um, let's leave, I think, and <laughs> put that cigarette butt on the floor. Uh, yeah, I'll come back later, I think. Um, right, well, I suppose we didn't go outside. We didn't have a look at the celebrations, did we, really? So let's let's go over there and, and do that. And maybe on the way, I mean, did I... <laughs> I mean, that, that midget in the coffin, did I send him off on his way? Maybe he's still waiting to be uh, posted, so to speak. So... Never get out of this place. <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? <laughs> huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. He barely fits through those doors. But you know what? That door that was locked before is now open, I suppose, right? Should we have a look? 
Let's have a look. Okay. All right. Oh, this is it. This is the this is the tube switcher thing. Looks like it's, it's hard at work. It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all the communications here in the Department of Death. We need to do something with it. I'm almost certain of this. As a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, okay, go over to the next screen, I suppose. All right, hang on, hang on. What was that? What was that? No, there was something there. Something about the red tube, right? That right. Red tube looks familiar. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't suppose we can reach through anything. We probably need to go in, but let's try it. Can't reach. Can't reach. Okay, well let's go in. Uh, use it. There you go. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. Is there something to do with this? No. Can't peer through. Um. That wheel should open it. Yeah, it should. Hmm, okay, maybe I'm just not strong enough. There's definitely something about that red tube, though. Is oh that that uh. Domino had a red tube, and I think that's the only one as well. So that's. That's Domino's tube. Okay, can we go around the back here? Looks like we can't. Nothing in the foreground. Oh, the fire! Yeah, the fire extinguisher. Warning: Fire system. Do not touch. I can't help myself. <laughs> uh, right. Any fires need putting out? Not yet, but maybe later. Let's put that away. That is. Uh, that is one filled jacket right now. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, yeah, before we go outside and enjoy the festivities, across to the other side? Yeah, this way. Right, okay. Uh, <laughs> is he in one of these? For those who enjoy no hassle travel. Hmm, no movement, no nothing. I don't need the hernia. Uh, probably not. Okay, well, can we open it? Bruno, you in one of these? Must have picked them up already. Ah, right, okay, fair enough. Um... The foam! It's the it's something to do with the foam. We can use this, right? Right, okay. It's a nasty chemical puddle. Right, uh, use this one as well? Ugh, that smell. Ah, okay. Well, uh, can we pick this up? No thanks. Right. This stuff smells terrible, man. Um, can we use it or use something? No, we can just smash it away. Right, I guess that wasn't it then. Um, damn. I'm fairly sure I need to use something here. It's like, <laughs> it's the memory equivalent of having like something on the tip of my tongue. Let's see, what have we got to play with? So we got the scythe still. The pack of cards. The ace pulled out very specifically for some reason. The fire ex I don't think it's the fire extinguisher and just the scythe again. I think there's something else we're missing. And I don't know if it's in this room. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I'm, I'm getting distracted, really. Let's go out and let's go and uh, and celebrate, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, not the alleyway this time. Let's go over here. Okay. What do we got, then? I suppose... Let's have a chat with this guy, whoever he is. Looks like some sort of crafty mine. Is it something to do with the balloons? Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Okay, practicing what? Practicing what? Wringing your neck. What does it look like? <laughs> uh, yeah. Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? All right, thanks. Bet you can't do a cat. Um, yeah, go on. Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. All right. <laughs> Robert Frost. Yeah, Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? A little bit. Ta-da! That's Robert Frost. What? <laughs> <laughs> that's Robert. Well, hang on. Is that like the profile of him? Me oh, I don't know. Maybe that's the idea. Uh, right. <laughs> Give it a wiggle. I, I think. I think I need a balloon, but I don't think it's Robert Frost. <laughs> What's this anyway? 
those crates are completely blocking the sidewalk. Right. If there were a fire. Well, if there were a fire. I do have a fire extinguisher. Hmm. Maybe I need to create one, or... Nah, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, he, I think there was an option with him that I could maybe walk through his tent. Yeah, here we go. Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? <laughs> Not quite. Uh, some festival, eh? Some festival, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any... Tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up now, does it? <laughs> oh, I can't help myself. Bang! Uh, <laughs> pop another one. Lousy, bony fingers. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe I need to do it. You teach me how to do that? Well, uh, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step, which is blow? <laughs> okay. I think I'll need another balloon animal. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez. What now? It might be a dead worm. A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. <laughs> All right. There's no limit on those. Is that right? Well, if that's the case, I might want another one. Yeah. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, uh, jeez. What now? Yeah, dead worm. Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. I think I know what to do with them. Yeah. Those nozzles. Yeah. Yeah, it's gotta be. Has to be. Absolutely. Right, so let's see. I guess we can't go through the back here, can we? Oh, hang on. That's not what balloons are for. Oh, no, no. <laughs> of course it's not. Now, I'm gonna put that away. But uh, we're looking at something here. The bread of the dead. The bread of the dead. Okay, do I want to steal a baguette? Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, well, yeah, let's put that away before someone you know, sees you stealing it. Nothing over here on the left. Can we go to the other side? Um, let's back away. Over here? No, there's nothing there, I don't think. No, we just go over to the mime again. That's okay, I've got a couple of dead worms and Robert Frost in my jacket, so we might actually be able to continue. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, I think I've worked this out. So, if we move back and uh, go back... Oh, sorry. If we go uh, over here, I guess. That's right, yeah. Go back to those nozzles and try out the, uh, the balloons. I don't know where that guy went, that, uh, that demon guy. Which one do we use? I, I guess, maybe, I guess it's probably got to be both, right? So, uh, this is where we should get one of the dead worms out. Let's find one. Nope. Uh, nope, don't want to, uh, pick up Robert. Yes, select that. Very strange, uh, key for use, you, but yeah, okay. Use it with the nozzle. That's right, that's right, okay. Honestly, I mean, this, yeah, right now, this isn't all that intuitive, I suppose. I'd, I'd be struggling with this if I didn't already do this a few years ago. Okay, uh, let's dive back into here. <laughs> that's the bread of the dead, I take it. The bread of the dead. Yeah, okay. There you go. So where's the other one? I guess it's like a new item, so... Yeah, there it is, there it is, okay. This balloon is filled with a light chemical. Okay, and is the other one like a darker chemical? Right, so select that, and then use this one instead. I'm sure you see where I'm going with this. Okay, that did actually look a little bit darker than the other one. Let's just sort of confirm that. Uh, this balloon is filled with a light chemical. This balloon is filled with a dark chemical. That's what I like to see. Okay, now... I might be returning to my office. Yeah, this way. <laughs> I think I'm going to piss some people off when I do this, but I think it's all for a, a good cause. At least that's what I'm going to keep telling myself. Uh, yeah, back in here. Nice close-up, but I think it's the tube that I want to go back to. Yes. 
So, hang on. Let's use this. Can we open it up again? I'm sure we can. Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, oh, really? Oh, I see. When we're standing in the right area, it looks like just pressing U will just automatically use it. We don't even have to click. So, that's interesting. Uh, right. In here. And it's going to be this one. I don't think it really matters which is first. But I think they're both going to have to go down. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Look up below. Right, but it doesn't actually turn into a foam unless I have both of the chemicals, so we're going to need to put in the other one as well. And that is there. <laughs> Jam it in. That's it. Right. That doesn't sound good. That sounds brilliant. There's no air pressure. The server must be down. <laughs> the server? Yeah, I guess I know what you mean. Um, okay. Let's go investigate, shall we? We need to see what mess we've made. Maybe we should check in in the garage as well. Yeah, I guess we could probably do that. Um, yeah. Server's down again. What else is new? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's see how uh, how Glottis is doing, I suppose. Over here? I guess he's probably going to be in his corner over there, isn't he? Let's have a look. <laughs> I honestly don't know how he fits. You in there somewhere? It's locked. This sign says, I'm at the junkyard. <laughs> it sounds like him. All right. Okay, so I didn't notice there's actually something here we can use. It looks like a water fountain. Who's afraid of a little rusty water? Not me. Well. Not picking that up. No. Especially with bony fingers. Very difficult. Hmm. Maybe that's for a later puzzle? Don't know. I'll have to keep that in mind, I suppose. Oh, hang on. What have we got here? It's a tool cabinet. Ah, okay. Anything in there that I might want? It's locked. Ah, well, maybe, but I'll need to find a key first, I suppose, unless I destroy it with something. In fact, I mean, can, can I try it's that? Locked. Can I try that? Let's try that. <laughs> there we go. Love the way it folds out like that. I don't want to mess up my blade. Oh, fair enough. I guess I don't blame you. It's quite nice. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, I guess we don't need to come back here until Glottis is back. Yeah, for now, we need to uh, check out the server. Alright, up one elevator, down another. Okay, and uh, yeah, just to the right. There wasn't anything up that end, was there? No, that doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, through here. And there he is, he's working inside, and he's obviously strong enough to open the door. Right, this might be my chance. Uh, right, this might be my chance. Let's take a look at that red pipe again. I think that's the other end of Domino's message tube. It if is. I could just get in there. Well, we're halfway there. Come on. Right. Um, I guess I need to speak with you. Ah, our cheerful communications maintenance staff is on the job. Yeah, cheerful. Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. <laughs> okay, so yeah. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. Okay, um, could I uh, squeeze in there? Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. Hmm, okay. 
How long is it going to be down? So how long is it going to be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Hmm. Yeah, what's so special about you? What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. <laughs> Oh, I think I might protest a bit too much, but... Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Hmm. It's quite a uh, big thing to cover. Just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty Cathy. I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Right, okay, well, talking to him is not the answer. There's got to be something I can do, though, right? I mean, I probably don't have to get my scythe out and just oh, take him out. Again. Oh, sh oh, shit! Wait, wait, wait! You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Ah. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. Hmm. Okay. Well, that was interesting. That was all like uh, that was all automated as well. It's the wheel on the door. Okay, can we do something to it? Give it a spin? No? The wheel won't budge. No, I'm just not strong enough. Okay, uh... We need to get him away from here. We need to do something else and let... Uh, we, he needs to keep the door open, I think. What? What the hell was that? Good enough for government work. Right. It's back up and running. It's all clean now. Uh. Hmm. Where did he go? <laughs> Maybe he's back here still. No. Oh shit! It's back running like it used to. Uh, did I do something wrong? Maybe. We, yeah. Maybe we can open it. Maybe he just left it slightly open or loose or. It won't turn. God damn. It won't budge. There must be something else keeping it shut. There must be. There must be. How do we get that? It's it's definitely it's definitely the tube. We need to get the message about maybe a premium client from the tube. I know that much. I just don't know how we get in there without getting spotted. Right, this is where I'm going to have a think about this and say thank you very much for watching these first two videos of Grim Fandango. Really hope you enjoyed them and I hope to see you back in part three when hopefully we can get inside, get the message and continue the story. See you then. This food looks pretty good. And you say that after someone's just been poisoned, right? Fire system, do not touch. I can't help myself. I'm fairly sure I need to use something here. It's like... <laughs> it's the memory equivalent of having, like, something on the tip of my tongue. Go ahead. Name one. Alright. <laughs> Robert Frost. Yeah, Robert Frost. Rob oh, sh oh, shit! Wait, wait, wait! <laughs>